it? No, I felt naturally drawn towards this one. <laughs> I prefer being alive. Okay, that's good. That works, that works for both players. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, yes, yes, it's just in one of my pockets. Not that one, this one. Um, so we're going to do two pieces. And um, this first piece is a uh, homophonic translation of uh, the synopsis of Braveheart, which we got off the internet. 13th century. Dirty centipede. <laughs> King Edward Longshanks, played by Patrick McGowan, invades and conquers Scotland. In bed with loan sharks, plagued by ass-kicked ruins, we repaved the contours of Scotland. Edward grants Prima Noctis the right for a lord to take a newly married Scottish woman into his bed on their wedding night. Eddie Grant's Friday night kiss was right in at four. We shook a newly sullied Scott mid coupon at Lisa and Ed on their wedding night. Longshank's plan is to breed out the population of Scotland. Hunchback's planned to cheat the operations of Scotland. Ten years later. Ten years later. William Wallace, Mel Gibson, returns to his father's farm. He attempts to marry his childhood sweetheart in secret. Wilhelm Wallace, Mel Gibson, Reed earns Dude's father's farm. Heat tempts to Marais, child dude sweetheart in secret. But when English soldiers intervene, the resulting fight leads to the girl's execution. In retribution, Wallace slaughters the English garrison. But in and West Shoulders enter ravine. Their insulting invite lads do the girl sex locution. Inbred collusion, all is otters thing wish Gary's son. <laughs> Wallace rebels against the English, and as his legend spreads, hundreds of Scots from the surrounding clans join him. Walrus devils, aka the English, stood a piece on dead men's legs. Munted toss pots in a stolen Audi sang Jolene. <laughs> <laughs> Wallace leads his army to victory at Stirling and then sacks the city of York, killing Longshank's nephew and sending back his head. Walrus P was balmy, too thick to be swirling in my slacks, we city of porcelain, poltax, kestrels, and Gren Ringblatt all dead. Wallace launches a guerrilla war against the English. The police torched the villa, your friends were in it. <laughs> Warned of the coming invasion by Isabella of France, Wallace implores the Scottish nobility that immediate action is needed. Ward of the coming and facing bite his cerebellum deference. All this implores the Scottish knob ill it he that immediate action is needed. <laughs> Leading the English army himself, Longshanks confronts the Scots at Falkirk. Lee Hingway, the English army himself, Shonlacks confronts the Scot fail crack. As Wallace charges with departing Longshanks, he is intercepted by one of the King's Lancers, who turns out to be Robert the Bruce. As Wads hard edges the deep art and long anks. Wheezing tears whereby wise enough kind links us. Huta shout Toby, rub at the bruise. Remorseful, Robert gets Wallace to safety before he can be captured. Wallace kills Mornay and Lachlan for their betrayal and wages a guerrilla war against the English. Re more is full. Robert gets all this to save tea beef or pecan beak up dude. All this kills Mornay handlock for hair beef trail and ways a gore other war arg instant anguish. Now intending to join Wallace and commit troops to the war, Robert sets up a meeting in Edinburgh. How did vending Bitcoin projects land this beautiful score? <laughs> Robot ketchup seeping from architecture. However, his father has conspired with other nobles to capture Wallace and hand him to the English. All investors in Nirvana had retired, big suckers for local focaccia. <laughs> Phonics rang bland into the spindrift. 
Learning office treachery, Robert disowns his father. Churning office lechery, covert colognes of gardeners. <laughs> Isabella exacts revenge on the now terminally ill Longshanks by telling him she is pregnant with Walsy's child. Intent on ending Longshanks' line and ruin, ruling in his son's place. Does a better expat depend on a jowled, herpes-filled romance? My bellend, grimly skiffed, lead paint dipped balustrade, as tense as any sun cracked line on Julian Assange's face. <laughs> In London, Wallace is brought before an English magistrate, tried for high treason, and condemned to public torture and beheading. In London, what kiss he's brought to beef for languish amputate? Tired fortnight grease on, he gone down to pew blicker tonsure, I'll be hidden. Even whilst being hanged, drawn and quartered, Wallace refuses to submit to the king, instead shouting the word freedom, impressed by the Scotsman's valour, the judge orders his death. Eden was peeing, hound dog hand quartered, Wallace refuses to sup with tutti king, instead housing <laughs> freedom. Pimp pressed with this godman's vile hip budge orders his teeth. Years later, Robert the Bruce leads an army against the stunned English in a surprise attack at Bannockburn. Robert implores his men to fight with him as they once did with Wallace. Years later, Robert the Bruce bleeds an arm, he drains the cunt anguish. When he supplies <laughs> Annex outbound nocturne, Robert imply lowers his man tooth out with him happy once dead pith ball face. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the story should end. <laughs> I like the fact that we've got both Eddie Grant and Aswad into that translation and then there was so much reggae <laughs> hiding in, uh, in that story. They've been here for years. <laughs> so this is like a, this is the next song's uh, from, taken from the white paper. That, Salmon put out a wee while ago. So I looked up the words free and freedom and we took phrases around them and then just put them together as we found them and we called it Brave Hearts and Minds. <coughs> free of charge. Our tradition of free education. Protect free university. Principle of free education. Continue to have free access. The right to live free of discrimination. Free personal care for the elderly. And restored free education. Free personal care for the elderly. Free personal care and decent pensions. People in free. Free personal care. Free prescriptions. Free higher education. Free concessionary travel. Support existing tax-free. Scotland will be free. Free at the point of need. Free personal care and nursing care. To support tax-free savings. It will also free up money. Such as free school meals. Freedom to invest in housing supply. A free, truly public service. Living free personal care. Introduce free personal care. And introduction of free items. This government will protect free. Will give Scotland the powers to free children. Free university tuition. Restore free access. Our priorities for action free to have free access free education for those able to benefit with the principles of free movement which could undermine prosperity well-being and freedom protecting free education including fisheries agriculture research and creativity and freedom with free movement of goods a partnership approach to freedom, freedom. <laughs> <laughs> the free movement of nationals. Fundamental freedoms. freedoms. Spending will also free up valuable resources. Our fundamental right and freedoms. freedoms. To privacy and to freedom of expression. As Scots are free now. Disease free. Nuclear free. Scotland will be free to design a new means of funding. Giving creative freedom. freedom to and entitlement to live free. The rights and freedoms of everyone. Freedom, freedom. of information. Free up the central belt. Allowing free and safe movement of aircraft. Ensuring the free movement of goods. Free movement of labour. Carefree. Free prescriptions. Sounds like free prescriptions. Carefree. This includes free. What will happen to free? Successful policy of free. Including free. Travel free. Would they be free? Free to choose. The principles of free. Status free. Free movement across the border. Cognitive. Freedom! Scotland's citizens also enjoy freedom! freedom. Freedom of movement will ensure free movement related to free view and free state services that are currently free. Entry is free to core a fair trial. Freedom! Freedoms! Freedom of everyone. 
for life of freedom, freedom as free personal care. The government restored free and introduced free rights and freedom. freedom. <laughs> <laughs> uh,